hello guys welcome back to another android tutorial today i'm going to show you how to use firebase assistance to add firebase to your android studio project if you add firebase manually you need to go through a number of steps you have to add a number of dependencies you have to add a json configuration file etc but if you're using firebase assistance it is very easy to add firebase to your android studio project by two or more mouse clicks so now here I'm going to show you how to add Firebase Cloud Messaging to an Android Studio project using Firebase Assistance. So create a new Android Studio project, specify your application name. Here I name it as FCM Demo. Select an MD activity. So here the project created successfully. So now I'm going to add Firebase Cloud Messaging to this Android Studio project using Firebase Assistance. To open Firebase Assistance, click Tools, select Firebase. So here I'm going to use Cloud Messaging. So expand Cloud Messaging and select this one, set up Firebase Cloud Messaging. So these are the steps. First step, you have to connect this application to Firebase. Second step, add Firebase Cloud Messaging to this application and if you want to send firebase cloud messaging to a device or a group of devices you have to get firebase registration token so the first step we have to connect this application to firebase so click this button so here you need to sign in into firebase you can use your google account to sign in into firebase So these are the permissions needed by Android Studio to access Firebase. So allow all these things. Now it is success. Now come back to Android Studio. So this is the Firebase window. So from here, you can create a new Firebase project or you can select an existing Firebase project. So here, I, I don't have any Firebase project. So here I'm going to create a Firebase project so here I name it as FCM test and click connect to Firebase. Uh, it will take a little bit time. Now the Firebase project created and connected locally to this application and here the status now connected now the second step we have to add firebase cloud messaging to this application so if you add manually you need to add some dependencies on module level and project level gradle file so here i'm going to add fcm to your application so these are the steps so here this dependency added to the project level gradle file and these two dependencies added to the app level gradle file so this is the dependency for using firebase cloud messaging and accept these changes so now the project is rebuilt so now we successfully add firebase cloud messaging to this application so we can check our gradle file so first here I am going to check the project level Gradle file. So here is the plugins for using Google Play service. Now we can check the app level Gradle file. So here is the plugin for using Google Play service. And here is the dependency for using Firebase Cloud Messaging. So all these dependencies are automatically added through Firebase Assistance. Okay. So to send a message to a particular device or a group of device we have to access the registration token to get the firebase registration token we have to create a class that extends firebase instance id service so here i am going to create a new java class i name it as fcm id service
and this class extends firebase instance id service to get the most recent token you have to overwrite a method called on token refresh so from this method uh, you can get the latest token so here it is firebase instance id and print that instance id using the lockcat window here the token is fcm token so you will get the firebase registration token by this method get instance dot get token and here i display it on the lockcat window now we need to add the service to the manifest file so i copy this one now go to the manifest file open android manifest.xml and place it within the application tag and change your uh, service class name here it is fcm id service okay now we can test our application so first here i am going to run the application so run it So now here the application available on this virtual device now we can check the lockcat window and here is the fcm registration token so i copy this registration token now okay i copy the registration token now go to firebase console Go to the Firebase console. So here is the newly created project FCM test. In that project, we already add a application called FCM demo. Now here I am going to send a message. So click notification. Send the first message. And here specify the message. Hello from FCM. Now specify the registration token send it to a single device specify the registration token now click send message send it sorry to receive the message i have to make the application in the background now here i am going to duplicate that message again duplicate it again send the message again send it now here the notification arrived on this virtual device here is the notification hello from fcm so this is how we using firebase assistance to add firebase to your android studio project i hope you understand the concepts to get more android tutorial please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode